Good afternoon and welcome everyone. Um, today we have Courtney Schultz presenting from Essilor on Optifog. Uh, this session will be recorded starting now, so I'm going to put everyone on mute as a courtesy. Courtney will hold a short question and answer session after the presentation, so please hold your questions until then. Hello everyone, I'm Courtney Schultz, Product Manager for Optifog. And today I'll be walking you through some information regarding the product as well as some exciting things we have coming. So at Essilor, it's been our never-ending quest to provide the best possible vision to every patient, every day, every time. And we've done this through such product improvements as Cresol, um, transitions, we've conquered glare, scratches, smudges, water, and dust. But there's one thing that we still have left to conquer. And that was fog. So now there is truly a solution for foggy lenses. And that solution is Optifog. So just to kind of give you guys a background, fog forms when there's a very difference between hot and cold, and it's always when you're in a cold climate going into a warm environment. So that could be whether you're moving inside, outside, um, you know, you're cooking over a hot stove, a hot boiling pot of water, you're unloading the dishwasher. Um, it's all around us. It's in our everyday situations. So fog appears in all regions. It's not just, you know, if you live in the northeast, if you live in the south, it's, it's all around us, and it, it, it's an everyday hazard. Foggy lenses causes temporary blindness. You know, when, if you've ever been driving down the road or you get in your car and your lenses fog up, I mean, you can't see, so it is definitely an issue. In a recent survey that we did, 75% of wearers are interested in an anti-fog solution for their lenses. So this is obviously a solution that is needed in, out there. You know, wearers are interested. It's a matter of us getting the word out that this product is available. You know, before we started this, before we started with Optifog, we had no idea what a big issue this was because people weren't able to talk to them to their patients about foggy lenses because there's never been a solution. So, you know, we really need to understand how fog is affecting patients. You know, what are they telling us about foggy lenses? Are they frustrated about solutions of the past? You know, there's been a lot of solutions out there. They just haven't been good. So it's really important, you know, that when you guys go out there that you're talking to the ECPs about Optifog and about that there is a solution. You know, this is some things that, you know, patients are saying, you know, they fog out, they fog up outside. They hate when they drink or eat something hot because their glasses fog. So, you know, one of the things is cooking, unloading the dishwasher, steaming pots, opening the oven. You know, it's truly all around us. Eating and drinking, drinking hot beverages, eating soup, eating hot food. You know, so you can see it's in our everyday lives. The other thing you'll see a lot of is outside activities, people riding bikes, you know, especially if you have any kind of mask on, skiing, hunting, that will definitely steam up your lenses. We've also seen a lot you know, like I talked about, masks, occupational, surgeons, policemen, firemen. We've done several studies with them and have had fantastic results as far as their satisfaction with Optifog. You also see this in the restaurant and food industry. You know, people going into freezers, um, into hot kitchens, different things like that. Um, we have created three viral videos. Um, one is the doll, the dog, and the butcher. And they're available on YouTube. Um, they're also linked in this presentation. So if you've not had a chance to view those, I do encourage you to because they are hilarious. Um, but for time reasons, um, I just want to quickly get through this presentation today. You know, this was interesting. Ellen Haig, if you guys are familiar with her at all, did a lot of um, 
interviews with people. And this guy was a forklift driver, you know, had a high prescription, didn't wear his glasses because he didn't have a solution because his glasses would fog up, you know, when he's driving his forklift. I mean, that's scary when you think about, like, you know, someone working in a big warehouse on a forklift and not able to see. So this was a real world test. This was actually a 50-50 lens put into a blast freezer. And as you can see, the side that's clear is the side that had optifog on. The other side absolutely did fog. You know, again, we talked about forklift drivers, food industry. All of these people, you know, really have an interest in optifog. So there's two choices for Optifog. Optifog is Crizol lenses with Optifog, which offers you all of the great, of the same great benefits as Crizol, glare reduction, scratch resistance, dust repellent, clean, being able to clean, and then fog repellents. It's also available in TD2 lenses with Optifog, which offers you scratch resistance and fog repellent. Uh, the suggested retail price to consumers for Crizol lenses with Optifog is $162, and for TD2 lenses with Optifog, it's $82. One of the questions we get um, a lot is the cleanability of Optifog because it's a hydrophilic top coat versus the super hydrophobic top coat. Um, that a lot of people are used to with Crizol. So the cleanability will be slightly reduced, but if they use the activator solution on it and rub it in, it'll be absolutely fine. It'll have the same cleanability. So this will get into a little bit more about Optifog, the category. Um, and exactly what it is. Think of Optifog as a new category. It's one, you know, kind of like a transition. It can be paired with everything. So it's really important that, you know, we create this need, this new category need. So Optifog has an anti-fog molecule form, which forms a new top layer, like I just spoke about, as a hydrophilic top coat layer instead of the super hydrophobic top layer. So the, the way Optifog works is it's you've got the super high, or you've got the hydrophilic top coat in this Optifog activator. Uh, what's interesting about this Optifog activator is that in order for the anti-fog property to work, it must be applied. And all it is is it's one drop on each side of the lens once a week under normal conditions. If the patient, you know, or the ECP washes it with soap and water or another cleaning solution, it will remove the activator and they must reapply. The activator is usually will last six months under normal use, and that's applying once a week. You can buy the activator, order it from the DCI, and it's $3 a bottle. Um, and you must have it on, on hand from the DCI to ship with any Optifog jobs that you do to the ECP. ECPs can order the Optifog activator to have on hand at their, at their stores for $120 for a case of 20 from Optisource. And consumers, when they do need a refill, can either go to the ECP and order it for $8 to $10 and have it there, or they can go to optifogusa.com backslash activator and order the, order the activator for a price of $10, and that includes shipping. So like I just said, you know, simple application. The activator only needs to be used once a week under normal conditions. It's simply one drop on each side of the lens. You gently wipe the lens, making sure to coat the entire surface. And then the hydrophilic property retains the fog-free concentrate. So when fog hits the lens, it actually, when you think it's super hydrophobic, it beads up the water. Well, a hydrophilic top coat does the opposite, and it actually spreads the fog across so it becomes invisible to the wearer. So 
So this just kind of gives you some information on patient speak on technology. One of the great analogies that Ellen Haig uses is that this te new technology is like Velcro. You know, you have your, your Optifog lens, your top coat, your hydrophilic top coat, and you have the activator. You know, separately, they don't do anything, but when they come together, they make magic. So you have to have both elements to make this antifog property work. So this just tells you, you know, how to uncover the patient's need for Optifog. And we've just developed all kind of, you know, protocols, dispensing protocols, as well as some, you know, materials on LitLink that you can order that will help you with this. So it's really, you know, up to you guys when you talk to your ECPs that, you know, really telling them there is a need for this product. You know, how do they, and, and really discovering how do, how do they talk to patients about Optifog. Because this is, like I said earlier, not something that has historically been talked about, and ECPs, you know, haven't really been comfortable talking about it. So this is just kind of something that we, that we developed is just, you know, how to un uncover, you know, the patient's need for Optifog, and this is really talking to the ECP so that they can better relate to their patients. It's, you know, risk. Realize your patient's confusion around buying glasses. Investigate the need for Optifog by asking questions. Share your recommendations. Keep focused on the visual benefits of Optifog. We have a great dispensing protocol tool on LitLink um, that I encourage you guys to go on and order, um, you know, for your sales team or whatever. So when they're out there, they can actually it has a list of questions that helps the ECP really engage the patient and really make that recommendation. So here's availability. Um, Crizol lenses with Optifog, TD2 lenses with Optifog. It's really the same availability for Crizol lenses as all Crizol on one say. There are a couple exceptions. We cannot do bifocals, trifocals, anything with a line, uh, no 174 and no 167 tinted. For TD2, it's the same availability as TD2 lenses with the ex same exceptions as Crizol, no lines, no 174 and no 167 tinted. So here's just kind of some packaging and logistics. You know, here's the Optifog activator. It is really important on this Optifog activator that you guys have a stock on hand, that you guys have ordered some, so that when you ship these jobs to the ECP that they are truly, you know, getting the Optifog activator. Optifog lenses only work when activated by the Optifog activator. We talked about that earlier. You know, you've got to have both lenses and the bottle. It's kind of like the Velcro analogy. So we talked about this, up to about six months with normal use. So again, if you wash it with any kind of solution other than the activator, you wash it with soap and water, it will remove the activator and you must reapply. So this is kind of some of the in-office materials. This is the sales tool. This is a sales aid. This is available on LitLink for you guys to order. There's a patient thank you card that, you know, your ECPs can get so that they can, you know, give to the patient and it gives on the back directions on how to apply the activator. So just as a kind of a wrap up, I will show you the dog and then we'll go into some FAQs and then I'll open it up for questions. Oops, or not. Okay, for some reason it's not working, so. So here are some FAQs. This will probably hopefully answer a lot of your questions. Um, like we talked about earlier, it's once a week under normal conditions. Um, it will last. We talked about how the activator is applied, one drop on each side. Mm 
The activator bottle will last six months under normal conditions. The Optivog activator does not damage the lens on it or treatment. So, you know, if you use it on, say, something that doesn't have the Optifog lens, it won't have the fog property, the antifog property, more than just a couple minutes, you know, maybe an hour, but it's not long term. Uh, but it doesn't have any impact on the no glare stack or hard coat. Some things to remember about the Optifog activator. Do not ingest it. Do not put it in your eyes. Do not use it as a contact lens solution and keep it away from children. It has an alcohol base, so, you know, it is harmful to people. If you do not have, do not put the Optifog activator on the lens, it will not have the Antifog property. So in order to make that active, you must use the Optifog activator. Everything else will be exactly the same, the no glare efficiency, any, everything like that, scratch resistance, it will have no impact on it. The only thing you will not have is the anti-fog property. We recommend that you clean the optifog lenses with just a simple cloth. You can use the activator solution as a cleaner. That way you kind of get the anti-fog property and you remember to do it. Uh, otherwise, you can use soap and water. Just remember that it must be reapplied, the activator. So I get this question a lot, which Crizol stack is used in the new Crizol lenses with Optifog product? The answer is it's a Crizol Avance-like stack, but it is completely different in that it has a different top coat. So I don't want people to get confused and say, oh, it's a Crizol Avance stack, because it's not. It is a brand new no glare stack. It has similarities to Crizol Avance. It has the premium no glare and it has the premium scratch resistance but it is not a Crizol Avance stack. So that's it. Um, just a couple things to note as well. Currently, Optifog is only being produced in precision. We are looking at rolling it out to other labs, um, but that is going to be dependent on volume. So, you know, the more you guys sell, the faster we can get this rolled to other labs. Uh, the other thing is that, you know, we are looking to expand the product line as well for 2012, so you will see some new product introductions such as Sun, sun Shield with Optifog, as well as some value offerings such as House AREZ with Optifog. But those will be more mid-year as well as stock lenses. So now I will open it up to questions. Okay, Courtney? Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, You're welcome.